Welcome to Straight to the Point. What do you get if you numb down Sonic 3D? No, I mean by a lot. This abomination. Sonic Labyrinth is mostly a negative experience going by the community's view, but the game claims it's perfect. It's contradicting itself by showing Sonic running for his dear life, but being released in between the amazing Sonic Triple Trouble and the <laughs> not so amazing Sonic Blast, I can only hope that this won't frustrate me too much. No cutscenes or stories are found within the game. This is a first for the Portable series, but looking it up on Wikipedia, because I am not paying that much for a box version, Fed up with his schemes being foiled by Sonic, Eggman sneaks into his house while the blue rodent is sleeping. He slowly creeps up and swaps his shoes for slower ones. No, no murder by pillows or anything, he pulls a Dr. Evil and gives Sonic a chance to stop his plans by heading towards the scientist's super labyrinth. So our hero's agility and jumping skills have been stripped, making this isometric maze slow. Therefore, what does every player do upon playing this puzzle? Yep, they abuse the spin dash. This ability hasn't been robbed, and it'll be your main method for searching the areas, which makes me question, why remove the speed functionality in the first place? I'll tell you why, so you can bump, ricochet, and confuse yourself all over. You can charge up your spin dash, in which you're just asking for trouble, or you can tap it in intervals for quick manoeuvring, but better control of Sonic. Alternatively, you can treat him like a dog scratching his behind on a carpet. The mechanics feel right at home with its Sonic 3D counterpart, and if that's bad news to you, you do get the option for a different D-pad setting. But take my word for it, Slanted is as horrid as it sounds. It basically changes the D-pad's rotation from this to this. In simpler terms, you're now controlling the protagonist from his point of view. I could not get on with this choice, and you'll do much better if you just leave it on... Strite? Oh, whatever. However you navigate Sonic, it's your job to hunt down the three scattered keys laying all over each labyrinth. These acts are incredibly short, and honestly, they're unbelievably easy to discover. I guess the egghead forgot to tidy up after himself, as they're left in places like... The corner. And you do have the odd one or two found in Bad Nicks. Obtain all three and reach the goal within a generous time limit to succeed. The fourth act rolls you into a boss battle in which just contains a bigger version of the Bad Nick and takes multiple hits to beat. You're awarded the Chaos Emerald and you move on. You can also get some aid with invincibility and even speed shoes! IQ of 300, ladies and gentlemen! Trade Sonic shoes for sluggish ones, but leave speedy boots all over the area. Well, cheers, mate! This will help me out a lot! Oh my word! Oh, Gordon Bennett, my eyes! You're having a giraffe! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh. Ooh, much better. If you haven't blinded yourself by the final boss encounter, which is very simple by the way, defeating him will force the madman to leg it and conveniently chuck his emerald to you. And you win the game. Well, sort of. Oh, you idiot. You forgot the one room in Zone 2 3, the chamber you enter holding the final emerald by flying into the air and then holding right 1 and 2 instantly to press a secret button for access? You are a silly sausage. Nothing is stopping you from doing this in the first place, but once pressed, you can now pass the barrier. And trust me, from here, that's... that... that... that's it. You're done. Capiche? I'm not pulling a fast one. <laughs> you have the emerald as soon as you enter the special stage, but absolutely nothing indicates this, making you panic around like a headless chicken for no reason. Finish the concluding fight again, and now you have the flawless ending, and it gives you another code to try at the title screen, in which all it is is a stage select, nothing to write home about. Neither is the time attack option. It only consists of one miniature map that I was able to pass in under 20 seconds. The passwords are pointless nowadays, as they were used to enter a competition back in the 90s. This mode is so limited, and I'm not a fan. Unlike the music, which I found pretty decent. Not the strongest in the 8-bit era, but certainly not the weakest. The same goes for the graphics. It's a pleasure to witness. Maybe not natively upscaled on a 4K monitor, but it looks great on the portable. 
It's very repetitive nonetheless, meaning it's tough to remember if I've been in a specific spot or not. Particular gimmicks do not help. I know it's a labyrinth and all, but whose bright idea was it to not connect these tunnels properly? I could walk into one, turn straight back into it, and end up in a completely different place. That's like solving a puzzle with the wrong pieces! You can't form a path inside your head when these zones feel like they do whatever they damn well please. All in all, I don't find Sonic Labyrinth all that terrible, completable within 30 minutes, easy to grasp controls, and while I can recommend a play, only once you've literally tried every other Sonic game in existence. And that's straight to the point.